and for theft and hijacking. Third party write off via theft. That's right, thrift. Simple as that. What's more, Prime Meridian Direct is giving away a Ford Figo every two months. Yes, that's every two months. Request an obligation free motor insurance quote and you could stand a chance to win. Simply SMS the word thrift to 43813 and we'll call you. Prime Meridian Direct. Our insurance is all about you. The South African Institute of Chartered Accountants, or SICA, through its Tutuga Education Upliftment Fund, is undertaking what it calls serious mathematics camps throughout the country. And the driving force behind this, of course, is the Institute's concern with the declining mathematics pass rate amongst matriculants and also the declining number of matriculants who actually take up core mathematics. Now, in conjunction the Department of Basic Education. They host these camps each year since 2005 and so far have managed to engage over 200 learners each year. Here to tell us more now, we've got Gugu Makanya. She is the Transformation and Growth Project Director. Gugu, good morning and nice to have you with us. Good morning. Nice. Yeah, thank you for having me. The mathematics camps. Why did you decide to take this particular initiative? One of SACA's uh, strategic drivers is to transform the profession mm. um, to reflect the country's population demographics. And therefore, that requires us to market the profession, identify talent, and make sure that those meet the criteria can become chartered accountants. Mm. And we through, we'll do that through various programs, such as the mass development camps. And what happens at these camps? What do they entail? Uh, the camps, um, they've been running for the past nine years now. We take learners away from their normal um, schooling, and they happen during June, July vacation. What happens is uh, for a number of days, depending on the province and obviously the funding, we'll take them for five to ten days, where we invite experts in motivation, where we um, cover different topics. We also invite the Department of Education educators to come and teach these learners. They don't necessarily reteach what they're teaching at school because we cannot make, cha make changes in a syllabus that takes a year mm -hmm. to cover in just five to ten days. What we do in these camps, we then um, do um, exam techniques and how you, you, know, you, you study for the exam. It's basically tertiary preparedness. What also does happen there is the fact that we also uh, look at entrepreneurship, where we introduce learners into the world of business in a fun and educational manner. Mm -hmm. And we do very much aggressively career promotion so that the learners make informed decisions. So you're targeting matriculants, matriculants uh, with this particular yes, program. Which you might say is too late. Mm -hmm. However, like I said, it's tertiary preparedness so that they make informed decisions. So these are materials already taking uh, mathematics as a subject and uh, trying to encourage them going further that they should continue with that Absolutely. particular subject. Now, how many learners and how many teachers get involved in the program a year? The camps are running at a national level. Therefore, we target between 150 to 200 learners per province, a total of about 1,000 to 200. Mm -hmm. Educators, we cover various subjects like your accounting, science, and English. So there will be four educators per camp. We don't take accountants to teach. With all due respect, mm -hmm. we use our local teachers because we believe there is talent there. Right. Now, there's been a lot said about the declining number of matriculants taking up mathematics, the declining mathematics pass rate. Uh, in, in your observation, what is the reason behind this declining pass rate? A sad story um, that our primary teachers, for instance, a study that was done a long time ago, it showed that our primary teachers, they don't know how to do percentage calculations. And that's the foundation. Our just don't have a firm foundation to teach our learners because they need to carry that through. Also, there is a national crisis as far as um, the, shorta the shortage and quality of maths teachers. Yeah. So if there are no teachers, who's going to teach these kids? Mm -hmm. Again, it's becoming a norm to accept that maths is difficult and therefore failing should just be acceptable. Yeah. Everybody is scared of this maths. So what we do as a profession, we make sure that we promote the maths as a subject and that the maths can do wonders for you. In any, any career, you will need maths. If it were for me, I would like every learner to do maths mm. and pass it mm. and pass it very well. 
So if, it were, if, if you were a teacher, you'd make it compulsory. I'll make it compulsory <laughs> for every learner in the school to do that, absolutely. Yes. Now, what, what, what's coming up is that maybe the approach has been so much focused on the learners as opposed to actually getting the right teachers uh, to teach the subject. Mm -hmm. in, in, in terms of uh, the criteria of selection, how do you choose learners who will participate in the program? We choose learners based Maths marks because, like I said, max is a gateway to any profession. So they need to get level five, which is 60% in maths, and then to, for them to be able to come to the camps. Again, as part of our psych strategic drivers to transform the, prof to the profession, we therefore look at African and colored learners to be part of these camps. Mm. Now, you've uh, been around since 2005 with this particular program, so 10 years. What's the impact? The impact is huge. We've got childhood accountants that have qualified through these camps. In fact, some of them who have qualified they come to these camps as role models. They come and spend a week with these learners as their role models so that there's continuity. And then they can also speak to these learners in terms of what do you do then now when you get to tertiary? What are the things that you need to expect to develop your career? Which is something that we, we didn't have during our time when we're studying. And, and how does one actually participate? Do I need you to come to my school? Do I just directly apply? How does it work? We work with very, uh, we work closely with the Department of Education, Provincial Department because it's their territory, these are their learners. Yeah. We ask them to assist us in identifying these learners. So we, they're the ones that identify these learners for us and then we, we, we run the camps on their behalf. Okay, so the schools themselves will be the ones who will identify, we'll identify. the learners to come Absolutely. and participate in that program. Mm -hmm. Kuku, thank you so much for talking to us. I appreciate your time. Thank you. And if you want more information on Psyker's uh, uh, mathematics camps, visit us on our website, growingtomorrow.co.za, or call us on the hotline, 011-791-5658. The beginning of a new day brings with it hope and promise. The peace of mind that food is on the table. Secure in the knowledge that there is a group of people passionate about job creation, who want to develop skills, educate and inform. And most importantly, care. Working together, we can do more to create vibrant, equitable and sustainable rural communities. Clover's Mama Africa CSI initiative aims to assist people in disadvantaged communities to establish sustainable livelihoods. Currently, the initiative appoints about 40 women who collectively care for more than 15,500 vulnerable children and 2,500 elderly people in 40 regions across the country. One of these women is Mama Daphne Oliphant. She was already doing valuable community work in the Wooster area for about six years when she was appointed as a Mama Africa. She cares for youth and does outreach projects, but it's her entrepreneurial skills which enabled her to establish various income generating projects to empower her community further. It's no wonder that she was acknowledged by the CSI initiative as Businesswoman of the Year. Let's find out more. Here, the all that all of us bid, Club Mama Africa for us bid.